Well, Bibb County schools headed back to the classroom virtually this week. On Facebook, we asked how the first day of school went with everything online now. There were some mixed reactions from a lot of parents. Jamie says, great job, teachers. Every issue she had was resolved quickly through the teacher. Her kids were able to log in to all of their classes. Megan had a different experience, saying it was terrible. She says they were only able to get in touch with one teacher most of the day. She says she has three kids in elementary school, and each child's setup is different in Canvas. She says she'd rather go pick up weekly work, have them complete it, and then turn it in on Fridays. Other parents also wrote to us about the trouble they had with their students' classes. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live in Macon to explain what problems they need help working out. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Erin. Yes, parents said they mostly had problems with logging in, switching classes, and figuring out how to unmute and mute their audio. But the district said they were happy with their virtual start, saying that these were all problems they expect will smooth over as each day passes. It's totally different doing this virtual, but it's kind of, it's really, really hard. I know on the teachers, they're trying everything they can. But it's it's been very difficult. Lisa Newberry is a stay at home mom who's working full time to help her three children get through virtual school with Bibb County. It was rough. Our biggest issue is moving from one class to another. I know a lot of parents were at the schools yesterday with the computers because I was. I was one of the parents that was up there. So there was a lot of us that couldn't get in, didn't know how to get in. Um, even with cheat sheets, we still don't know what to do. Bibb Schools Technology Director Rose Powell says people were mostly calling their helpline for login problems. We expected to have some little things that we needed to take care of and, you know, helping people get on and navigate through the um, new platform, our new Canvas Learning Management System platform. It's brand new to the teachers and the students and not being in class together makes it a little bit harder to help them navigate that. They are aware that elementary level grades need more assistance. The students, you know, in middle and high school, they've been doing it for a while. They tend to remember their password better, um, but younger students, they, you know, they're just learning their password and so they needed the most support. Powell and Newberry feel it's a big improvement from spring now that students have devices and internet to use. Um, and they're doing a lot better than they did at the you know, they're more prepared now, but they're still having issues. It's not perfect by any means, um, but we're going to get better every day. Just be patient and know that uh, this is not what we hope for for the rest of the year. Powell says there were also problems accessing class schedules, but they were able to fix that connection. Parents also expressed their problems with trying to figure out how to unmute and mute their audio, which I have personally had problems with during our newsroom virtual meetings. But Powell says that teachers are going to work to make sure that they remind each class to mute and unmute their audio at the appropriate times. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Oh yeah, Pepper, adults still have problem with the mute and unmute. So kids, I'm sure that would be difficult. Thank you.